Some of you on the internet have asked, how do cell phones distract students? Oh, uh, Lena, I got a text from Mom. She has to take the baby to the emergency room. She said to make dinner after school. Oh, okay. You got that chocolate souffle recipe we wanted to try out? Oh yeah, right here on my cell. Sweet. We thought the best way to learn how cell phones distract students would be to ask our classmates. Na, na, Scott? Na, na, Scott? Na, na, Scott! What? What are you doing on your cell phone? Uh, well, this lecture on the Industrial Revolution was boring, so I made up a musical number about moving from a cottage workshop to a factory using my favorite characters from Les Mis, so I'd remember better. I'm listening to the song on YouTube. Dude, you can't do that. The Industrial Revolution and Les Mis didn't happen at the same time. <gasps> Dig two! Did not! I Wikipedia dare you to prove they didn't. Oh, well, it says right here on Wikipedia that Louis the 16th was executed by running him over 52 times with a steam engine. <gasps> Meaning the Industrial Revolution happened before the French. <laughs> Long noobs. Kyle, did you just troll edit Wikipedia while we were talking? <laughs> You're single-handedly destroying human knowledge. Ugh, revert, revert, revert. Yeah, I've got better citations from Google Books. We can add those to Wikipedia. Class, class, we need to get back on track. Bingo, what was I just saying about cottage industries? Whoa. Ugh, Scott? Uh... People, if you keep getting distracted by your cell phones, I will take them away. Now! The Enclosure Act saved millions of peasants from starvation by... Dude, she is so wrong. Yeah, I think the textbook's wrong, too. <coughs> oh, these things are 70 years old! I'm gonna simulate the uh, two revolutions by playing Civilization to see how they turn out. You just want to play video games. <coughs> Excuse me, that's computer games? Uh, Scott, hey Scott, why don't you grab some maps of France on Google Earth for your set? Oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. Putting that on my Pinterest for the project. I'm going to sequence Napoleon's DNA and see if he was really as short as everyone says for the lows. Oh, oh, guys, for my costumes, should I have early period bustles or natural form bustles? Oh, well, if it makes it easier, I've got 3D printing files for early period bustles here on my phone. Oh, gimme! Okay, all right, wait, wait, here. Oh! Oh! Give me your phone. Oh, my autodidactry! Good. Oh, phone! Uh, give me that oh, phone. Oh, I was wrong. Oh. Oh. Well, there you have it. Who can tell me about the impact of the jacquard loom on ladies' bustles? Erna, oh. I know you wrote your last term paper on this. Oh. Maybe when you ask, how do cell phones distract students, you're asking the wrong question. Maybe ask, how do students want to learn? Bubble A, bubble C, bubble C. Oh, come on. Lena, Lena, use that app that's like Uber but for teachers. Oh, so disruptive. There. All right, everyone. Can everyone share with each other what new questions is your research on the Industrial Revolution raising? Oh, oh, I want to know more about its relationship to climate change. You know, I think that could be the theme of our exhibit at the History Museum. Now, I want to see those designs up on DeviantArt, okay, Erna? I have contacts in fashion who will be watching. All right, yes, ma'am.